Close down, Mike. All right, the reason why I've called you guys in here is this. Yeah? This is our new wheel. I'm only going to make five pieces. We've discussed this before. These five pieces are going to fit on a 2018 Range Rover Sport SVR, which we are about to put into build. Doug, my dear friend over here, is going to reveal it to you in two seconds. Before that, I want you guys to take a deep breath and understand this is this is one of my creations. It's built on a five access machine. It's fully forged aluminium and it's 23 inch. Yeah? Have you understood that? Yeah. Okay. That Go on, Doug. Show them the baby. Now, just let me show you about a little bit about angles so you understand what angles are, yeah? So if you look at this wheel very carefully, as I'm going to turn it now, you can see the shadows on the wheel change, yeah? There's that much curvature on this wheel, it's unbelievable. At the same time, you can see that each spoke is slightly different. Now, top five spokes, they're going to be polished, you can have them polished. There's that much curvature and shadows, it's unbelievable, yeah? Now, that hasn't been really done before in the wheel industry. We're the sort of first company to do that. Innovation. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Okay, so <clears throat> I'd like your opinions on this. Is there anything in here that you guys think we should change? If there's only one thing on that wheel that I would change. Let's say Doug on it. That's you. It's a <laughs> joke, mate. Why are you <laughs> screw up when I'm making this moment like really special? Why do you screw like that up for? What would you you think you're funny, don't you? Are saw... you laugh at your own jokes? I saw this progress, it's coming up to depression. It's actually made yeah, you've got, been in depressed yeah. for the last four weeks, mate. It's and now look at you. You've got little you jokes, you've got little sarcastic jokes. Just, just life, it's mate. It's come out the other side, though, not it? Yeah, it's come out the other side. We've been sat there miserable eating ice cream. So Watching chick flicks, just, you know, crying and said, You've supported him through this. Thing. I have stood by him all the way, throwing peanuts at him. He's been like a little bird, just grabbing the peanuts and eating them. <laughs> oh. Barbecue. So before you go, you should say you should uh, say bye to Dominic. It's his last day tomorrow, and you're not here, so. Why is he going? Yeah, he's leaving. Right. Well, let's go say goodbye to him. Finish making a mess. Just one pop. Have yourself to my nuts, mate. Five minute rule. Was there a rule for five minutes? No. Yeah. I thought it was a two-second rule. So why is um, where's Dominic going then? I don't know actually. I'm not sure. Has he got? I, I, I really don't know. Your name's after on that actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you going tomorrow, mate. It's been a pleasure. It's been a joy. Well, it will be a joy for leaving, ain't it? Well, it has been a joy. Quite a good time. Well, good luck to you. Should we be a bit of a bet when, he, when he'll be back? How many months? I reckon months within weeks. two months he'll want his job back. Two months? Should, should we give it to him? Like you said, six weeks. Six well, six weeks and two months and yeah, that's yeah, the same, yeah. isn't it? Two Don't do months. it there. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he come back on half his wage. Yeah. Mm. That's something you do as well, isn't it? Yeah. So where are you going? Go to a company called Atos. All oh, right, you're going to... Um, um, I'm going to think, I'm sell washing machines. Yeah, that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm going to sell the washing machines, <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Was that so I'm, I'm uh, taking a step up. <laughs> Do you want one? I'll have one for free, yeah. Carl's a bit of a washing machine. Is he? <laughs> no, he's a washer dryer, mate, it's Carl. Have you had a haircut? He's always got me in a spin. Yeah. Always up for a tumble, mate. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, good luck to you. Thank if you me. need anything, call him. Well, yeah. Then. And um, we'll see you in six weeks then. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Oh, okay, mate. So what's that? What's what? That thing. That is a mouse trap with some grass on it. Why? To catch the mouse. We've, 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 had a, we've discussed this before, Suzanne. Yeah, and we discussed that we weren't going to kill it. So how are we going to get it? We're gonna put, we can put a box, we can put some grass in the box. And the mouse will come into the box, and then we can take it into the field. Will the mouse just get out of the box? No, it won't. If you can, you can get them with a little shutter. That once it goes in, it shuts it in. Uh -huh. So what you want? You want to get a remote control box for it? No, it's not remote control. It runs in. It has a little sensor, and then it shuts it in. That mouse trap will not kill the mouse. 
It will kill the mouse. It's not one of the mouse traps that kill the mouse. What, what kind of mouse trap is it's, it? It's, it's got a sponge on at the end of it. So when it hits it, the sponge jumps in first. <laughs> and then wash. the mouse gets away. It doesn't get away, it traps it. So it's going to break its leg. That can't break its leg, it's not strong enough. Don't I think there's more chance that mouse dying if it eats that grass. 